cardiac action potentials there are five phases phase 0 phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 and phase 4 phase 0 is the upstroke of the action potential phase 1 is a brief period of initial repolarization phase 2 is the plateau of the action potential phase 3 is repolarization phase 4 is the resting membrane potential phase 0 is the upstroke of the action potential phase 0 is caused by a transient increase in the sodium conductance this increase result in an inward sodium current that depolarizes the membrane at the peak of the action potential the membrane potential approaches the sodium equilibrium potential phase 1 is a brief period of initial repolarization initial repolarization is caused by an outward current in part because of the movement of the potassium ions out of the cell and in part because of a decrease in sodium conductance phase 2 is the plateau of the action potential phase 2 is caused by a transient increase in calcium conductance which result in an inward calcium current and by an increase in potassium conductance during phase 2 outward and inward currents are approximately equal so the membrane potential is stable at the plateau level phase 3 is repolarization during phase 3 calcium conductance decreases and potassium conductance increases the high potassium conductance results in a large outward potassium current which hyperpolarizes the membrane back towards the potassium equilibrium potential phase 4 is the resting membrane potential is a period during which inward and outward currents are equal and the membrane potential approaches the potassium equilibrium potential